Okay, so let me break this down a little bit. But before you get started into the song, what I kind of recommend is practicing two rolls because they're kind of the driving point of this tune, if you will. Um, so I'll give you the uh, the right hand here. It's going to be one, three, five. And that's with your middle pointer and thumb. So what you want to do is just practice this, that little initial pattern. Uh, one, three, five, three. So I'll do that a couple times. Okay, one, three, five, three. And then also we're going to do the same motion but different strings. One, two, five, two. So here it is. two together you get something like this and then the next one I think that's a good precursor to starting the song is just getting that right hand pattern okay another thing to consider with this tune is basically you're gonna have eight bars and then those eight bars are going to repeat and then you're gonna have a slight variation on it so when I go through this tune I'm only gonna go through the first eight bars and then the next eight bars are just a repeat, and then I'll cover the last eight bars, okay? So it's in the key of C, and it's in three, four time. I will refer to the tablature for measure purposes if you're following along with the tab. But to start with, you're simply just gonna be on the second fret of the first string, and then open, so you have, all right? Then you're gonna be on your C chord, and you're gonna simply hit two, five, two, one, five. Boring forward roll here. Two, five, two, one, five. So from the beginning. Now, the accents and all are going to be slightly different because this is in three, four time. Now, from there, you're going to come to the fifth fret of the second string and third fret of the first string. And these are going to kind of feel like uh, quarter notes. I've written this out in 16th notes. Uh, so on the tab, you're going to see eighth notes, but really, those are really slow. So I'll do that again. Now, from there, you're going to come into an E minor chord, five, five, and four from your high to low. So fifth fret of the first string. 5th fret of the 2nd string, and 4th fret. And this is simply just a reverse roll. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, twice. And then I end on 2 there. So, and then the 5th string. So I'll do that again. And then I simply take this ring finger, slide it up to the 7th fret, to the ninth fret. So that measure is those are the slower notes again. And from there, it's really an F chord. But because of the way the melody um, works, I'm going to fret the tenth fret of the first string with my ring. And the middle finger is going to go on the tenth fret of the third string there. Just these two. So nothing will be on the second string, and that's where my little roll comes in. That's one, three, five, three. We talked about that, the precursor, if you will. And then what's going to happen, the pointer finger is going to hit that nine. So one, three, five, three. The finger drops back. One, three, five. Here we go. And then jumping up to here, this is like the top part. Your F chord is there. This is simply the top part of an F chord. And this is simply just two, one, two, five. So if I put that measure together, this is measure three. So it's this kind of reverse forward motion. Five, two, one, two, five. Okay, and then we're going to bar the 5th fret. This is very simple, uh, left hand wise. Okay, that is 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 3, 2, 5. Okay, I'll say the numbers before I play them because there's a lot of stuff. 
it's one, two, three, two, sorry, one, two, three, two, one, three, two, five. Here we go again. You can really just do whatever you want to with your right hand as long as it takes up two beats. It doesn't really matter. And it starts on the first string. I mean, I could, as long as it takes up two beats, it doesn't matter. So uh, one, two, three, two, one, three, two, five. And then back to those quarter, or at least what feel like quarter notes, seven, nine, again, like you did in the other measure. And then you go back into this thing again. It's the same thing you've already done, so no need to go back over that. And now, from there, what I did is I am on the fifth fret. Uh, you can bar it if you want to. And I'm just going one, two, five, two. And then you come into the seventh fret of the first string. So here goes. And then back to two. One, two, five, two. One, two. And then you're going to come up to nine of the first string and nine of the third string. And five, three, one, three, five. So I'll do this whole measure for you. again okay and then we're going to jump up now technically this is really a G chord but a suspended note there if you will what measure is that six seven measure eight in the tab so the way I do this is I'm on the, the my ring finger is on ten of the first string pointer is on eight of the second string and you simply it's a reverse roll again one two five and then you jump to this position here, fifth fret of the first string, sixth fret of the second string. So these are the fingers, and watch this, it's gonna go uh, one, two, five, jump, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, five. So here goes. And do that again. End on five. One, two, five, two, one, two, five. And then I came to three and three. So third fret of the first string, third fret of the second string, and once again, a reverse roll. One, two, five. So that measure sounds like this. It's kind of got this, um, I'm accenting the first string. That's very important, always accenting one. And then you're simply gonna finish off with a C chord. Pinch, five, two, one, two, five. So here is the whole thing. Whoops. E minor. simply just going to repeat that. So that's what I'm going to call the A section. All right. Okay. So I'm picking this up from measure 17 in the tab. This is the last eight bars. This is what I'm calling the variation. So once again, you're still on your C, you're coming out of the C. Pinch, five, two, one, two, five. And then you have the same little pickup notes. E minor. already done all that. Now where this part changes is you're going to go to 10 of the first string first and then 9. So from the E minor and then into a full F chord here, 7, 6, 5. Hopefully you know your F chord. And then reverse 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5.
then I'm going to pluck one and two, and then the fifth string. So here goes. And those last two pinches, pinch five, are slower than the rest of the measure. Okay, then bar, just barring. I'll break this down. I'm going to say the strings. One, two, three, twice. So one, two, three. One, two, five, two, one, five. And then this ought to seem very familiar by now. We've already done that. That was in the other part of the song. And then you go to your C, and this should seem familiar too. That, that part's all the same. And then this G is the same. That's the suspended part. So I'm going to play that last eight bars slow. seems complicated but if you break down the right hand follow along with the tab and you really just practice this little lick here and making sure you accent that top note that's the gist of the tune okay so hopefully that uh, kind of gives you a breakdown with the tab and following along kind of slow and really all i'm trying to do here is show you the fingering because i think you can figure this out from reading it and listening along um, but if you have any questions just throw them in the comments i appreciate you guys subscribing and um, also visit my patreon i'm going to have the tab to this and many other holiday music tunes all right take care